Hi, thank you so much for that introduction. My name is Vanda Collins, and I am here today to demystify data with you. Um, we're going to be speaking about enterprise asset management, and I will share our personal success with data agility. I will define the term data agility, and of course, I'll also define enterprise asset management with you. I am a da digital data transformation specialist and a triage project manager. And what a triage project manager does is during times of trouble, um, my client was having some issues with their data, and their um, implementation of an asset management system. And I came on board to help them sort out, audit, cleanse, and clean their data. So of course, just like everyone else today, most businesses are adopting hundreds of apps in the cloud while our core systems stay you know, with all our critical information is still running on-prem, um, which can potentially, of course, create problems, disruption, um, business visibility, and disruption to our process and workflows. I have just strategically moved um, all our applications to the cloud uh, without leaving our core systems behind. Uh, what we were trying to do was modernize without breaking and innovating and try to innovate while keeping the core business intact and keeping our business running. Um, unfortunately, there is some downside here. This was not an expedited delivery. Um, it was unwanted new digital capabilities. So I got some user and uh, resistance from my stakeholders. Um, but what we tried to do was move the data that was designed um, with ease. We tried to satisfy the users and our key st stakeholders, which came from operations, maintenance, safety, and training. Um, and we tried to help them move their data and integrate their data to make their data transformation um, and their processing of information more efficient. This was a true challenge for the team and myself. Um, as we spent approximately a year and we are still in the midst of moving that data. So what I wanna share with you is the benefits of actually moving the data, as well as how we were successful. Okay, so what we'll cover today is, I've already introduced myself again, futurist, digital data transformation specialist. And then what we'll talk about is our business challenge. We try to fully automate our entire work order process. Um, I'll share with you our solution an integral software application for planning, controlling, maintenance, and performance analysis of our entire rail transit system. And then what I want to share is our transformation story, how we improved the what efficiencies we brought in um, with the staff that we had and how we helped our staff address asset maintenance. Um, the benefits, of course, will be that we were able to integrate our data and we were able to actually achieve data agility. So here we are, we were trying to build one of the first driverless railroad transit systems in the US. Um, a fully integrated global provider, the rail solution across um, what we had a Hawaii partnership in building rail cars for Hawaii's first public train transportation system. When the system 
um, begins operation, it will be the first driverless rail transit system in the US. And here, our mission was to contribute to society through the continuous development of superior transportation solutions. Of course, how were we to do that? We had to manage out the huge part of this equation was managing our assets and trying to get our assets under control. Um, we were concerned with trying to optimize our maintenance processes. Um, we were in the midst of trying to understand the art and science of keeping our assets up and running. We're a 24 by seven shop. And then finally, we had to represent um, one of our biggest priorities was actually going through this digital transformation. We were moving from a manual process, both on the safety maintenance side, as well as on the operation side. There was no technology in-house. Everything was separate and in silos. We had Excel spreadsheets everywhere. And so what we wanted to do was really achieve the success of our real business challenge of fully automating the entire work order process. And our solution was an enterprise asset management system. I'm sure you're asking what exactly is an enterprise asset management system? It's built in data integration and agility. And that's what we were looking for. Um, the enterprise asset management is a combination of software and systems and services used to maintain and control operational assets and equipment. Um, our aim here, again, was to optimize the quality and utilization of those assets throughout their life cycle and increase productivity and uptime, while at the same time reducing any operational costs. So things like warranty management were key to our success. Um, we had heard that there were opportunities to have savings in the hundred thousands. Um, one of our uh, in, uh, one of our key uh, interviews with a customer had showed us that we could have over 800,000 in savings from warranty management. And so our enterprise asset management involved our work management, our assets, maintenance, planning and scheduling. It also includes our supply chain management, our environmental and key and critical was our health and safety initiatives that would be wrapped into this one solution. And so what did we do? We went out looking for the best of breed solutions and we found that to improve our efficiencies and productivity, and ensure that the staff could maintain their assets and share that information. And that was the critical and key part was that again, that data integration and the ability to have data agility. We found our solution with IBM Maximo. Um, IBM was a leader and the best in breed solution for an EMA, which was our enterprise asset management. We opted for the Maximo Asset Manager. Um, and of course it was built in. We could provide a preventative and prescriptive, prescriptive approach to actually doing our maintenance And it would reduce any operational risk that we saw um, while keeping our people safe and increasing the return on our assets. Because we would also take the um, maintenance management component 
integrate it with our health and safety and environment and environment manager. We also included a quality piece to that. And the benefits of course was data integration. We were able to link our maintenance technician to the department managers. We were able to connect our supervisors, connect our operational control center and connect our management team and key stakeholders all together and bind them so that they could share information that would, again, optimize and provide a productive and efficient flow of work and all our work processes. So data agility, how did we achieve data agility with this EAM solution? Data agility, what that gave us was the ability to input information in one location and be able to share that information throughout the organization. Um, we also, with the solution, the third component of the solution was that it was mobile. So our technician in the field, our safety at the gate, our managers in the office, everyone had access to, Ma to Maximo at the same time. It was a ubiquitous solution. Um, our data agility, so data agility for us is when we have access to the data you need at the speed of the decision-making. So whenever you, that means if you need to make a fast and frequent decision, um, Data agility for us became extremely critical and the key component, the center of our environment. That ubiquitous data was ever present, available anywhere, available to all and pervasive throughout the organization. So we took the manual process and moved. So where most of our staff were turning to Excel, working 80 plus hours a week to keep things afloat and literally keeping things afloat. Um, we were losing data, operational clarity was needed um, to change things, to make it work. And again, data agility was the answer. Corrective maintenance was uncertain. Um, and so how would we be able to maintain our assets, provide preventative maintenance information, provide reporting, communicate to our management, supervisors, and staff? Um, what we did was we implemented this solution, this three-pronged solution with maintenance management, health and safety, and this mobility throughout the organization. So we ended up with no silos, the ability to do reports and queries from anywhere. We provided a solution that gave us customized workflows, internal communications, emails from anywhere indicating if there was a problem, we could email a report to our um, <clears throat> OCC, we could email back to the maintenance manager if there was a problem on a platform. A train operator would be able to email the OCC. The OCC would then email our maintenance crew. If there was a cleanup effort, they would be able to get right on it. No downtime. Again, trying to be as efficient and as effective as possible. And what, what we had to do, so this was the painful part. Now, this was not something that was done, as I told you, it was not something that was done overnight. So we had to define our data, clearly define our data, cleanse that data. And it took us about six months to really cleanse the data and go through an auditing audit of that data and then eventually, of course, load it. Um, 
to migrate that data. It took us about a year and we have not converted all of our data yet. Um, but what it has done is we can sit in a daily meeting and everyone at the table has access to the information. We have all the inefficiencies that were built into the manual system are no longer there. We can turn around and speak to from the maintenance manager to the op lead or head in operations and really share what needs to be done. We've got one daily report that tells us where everyone stands, what service requests are out there, what service requests were completed and work, work orders have been completed the night before. All by 11 o'clock, everyone's ready for the process. Um, as I said though, the actual process of defining, cleansing, auditing, and loading that data took us um, 18 months and as I said, excuse me, 12 months. Um, and we are still in the process of cleaning and cleansing the information. We think this process will take us approximately 18 months. But what we didn't do was we didn't utilize tools that are out there that can speed that process for us. So uh, the lesson learned for us was to automate the process of defining the data, um, pull in vendors out there that are cleansing, that can help you with the cleansing and auditing um, and loading of that data so that you can migrate your, your data in a much swifter um, time frame. Uh, our deployment thus far is extremely successful and operations is now speaking with maintenance and our safety team can easily share if there's an incident, all the information we can get maintenance to follow up on those assets as rapidly as possible. So, Again, we used an enterprise asset management solution to actually give us the ability to see our data. And now we have data agility. Thank you very much. I think I'm hoping everyone put their questions into the Q&A box. Please don't hesitate. Let's spend some time answering some of the questions you may have about the system. <laughs>